All right. Once again, we're at it again. We're going to go through the PowerPoint and talk a little bit about the lecture. Then we'll link up some extra videos to try to help you understand the concepts that we're talking about. So the essential questions we've got going on. The hardest one probably is uh, the karst topography. Um, most everything else we're pretty familiar with because of where we live and the things that we've dealt with in our lives. A lot of us have been to the cave systems either in West Virginia or Kentucky. Um, sinkhole, Florida, really known for that. We know stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites hold tight. Um, so let's get started here. Um, first thing we need to try to remember is the fact that when we were talking a couple of chapters ago and we were doing erosion and weathering, we had to remember that um, ra um, rainwater is slightly acidic. It, uh, it contains a carbonic acid, but it intensifies once it hits the ground. So as this percolates through, it becomes slightly more acidic. Now, when we get down through there, as it goes through, it starts to, uh, and we start combining that carbon uh, dioxide gas dissolves in the water. That's, we dissolve something called calcite. Um, now, calcite is a, a carbon, um, calcium carbonate type of molecule, and that basically means that it's an acid and a base. In class, a long time ago, I did a demo where I took certain rocks out and dropped little uh, acid on it, and we watched it bubble, and some of them bubbled more than others. Well, that's going to be the type of reaction that we're dealing with. So what we're going to deal with is, is first here... Uh, CO2 gas and water make carbonic acid. Okay, that's our first process. Our next process is that we form this basic reaction in getting our hydrogen positive atoms and our bicarbonate atoms. So now once that hydrogen interacts with that calcium carbonate, now this is calcium, and this is called a carbonate. Okay, now we break off the calcium by itself and we break off the bicarbonate ion. Now this is called a dissolution okay now that forms a lot of the stuff through this and in our limestones and such. We have a lot of limestone caves in our area. Now any, any natural underground opening is called a cave or a cavern. As the groundwater in infiltrates and cracks the joints and, you know, it gets in there and it starts just wiggling its way through and we start making larger and larger networks and larger and larger openings. A sinkhole is a depression or a ground, anything where we see a collapse is going on. Um, in our area and uh, farther south, a lot of times we'll see sinkholes occur when we pump too much water out and uh, that, that takes the support out and it collapses in on itself. However, sometimes if the water is there and it's moving through and it's dissolving it, it's leaving a cavity by dissolving all that limestone, okay? Now, the limestone region where we see a lot of sinkholes and a lot of the streams disappear, that's going to be the karst topography. When you take a look at your notes and such, you'll see a couple of pictures we put in there of a karst topography. Now, um... Dripstones are rock formations that are built over time as water drips through the caves. Each drop carries some some part. It, can, it carries a grain of calcite. Okay, it's actually the atoms of calcite and such. Now we have ones that are, a form of a dripstone is called a stalactite. That's one that hangs from the ceiling. Another form is the stalagmite, which which grows out of the floor. Okay. Now those are the basic ideas and such of this, you really need to go through the little section of notes that I gave you and I will link out some videos to try to help with this. Okay?